This question asks us to consider the exothermic reaction where C2H4 combines with Cl2 to form C2H4Cl2. Then it asks, if we were trying to maximize the amount of C2H4Cl2 produced, which tactic might we try? And you can assume that the reaction mixture reaches equilibrium. And here are the four ways that we might do this. Let's go through each of them and see what they would do. Increasing the reaction volume. Increasing the volume, we need to understand, um, is directly related to the number of moles of gas. As you increase the volume of the reaction container, the reaction is going to shift towards the side that has the greater number of moles of gas. You can think of it like the gas has more room to expand, there's more space, so you can cram more moles of gas in there. So increase in volume shifts towards the side that has the greater number of moles of gas. In this equation, the reactant side at the left side has two moles of gas, one mole of C2H4 and one more of Cl2 while the product side only has one mole of C2H4Cl2. So increasing the volume would shift this reaction to the left because there's more moles of gas over here. So that would not get us more C2H4Cl2 like the question wanted. So A will not get us there. B says removing C2H4Cl2 from the reaction mixture as it forms. So every time you make some C2H4Cl2, you remove some. This is like taking a, if this were a bucket here for the products and you remove some of the bucket every time the reaction goes, you're gonna have a hole here that the reactants are continually going to pour in to try to fill and equal out the reaction. That's just a little cartoon the way I think of it. So if you're removing product as the reaction's going, you're gonna continually push the reaction towards the product. And so uh, B, removing C2H4Cl2, will shift it towards C2H4Cl2, and you would increase the amount you obtain. So B would be a um, way we could maximize our yield. C says lowering the reaction temperature. They told us that this was an exothermic reaction, so you can think of heat as a product. If heat is a product and you were lowering the temperature, you are basically removing that product. And just like in B, where you remove the product, you're shifting the equilibrium towards the products because it wants to fill that hole, so too would removing heat or lowering the temperature if it were an exothermic reaction. So C, lowering the reaction temperature, would shift the reaction towards the right, and you would get more C2H4Cl2. And finally, D says adding more Cl2. This is the opposite of B and C. Instead of taking away from the products, if we add reactants, if you can think of this as a bucket again, this bucket would become too full, so it would overflow into the product. So as you add more product, you're shifting the reaction away from the side that's now more full, and so you would get generate more C2H4Cl2. So D would also maximize the amount of C2H4Cl2 produced. So B, C, and D are the answers for this question.